What's up, everybody? You tapped into the Purple Pocket Podcast, and it's your boy, R.A.P. You know what I'm saying? The Vikings signed outside linebacker Chris Garrett. I mean, there's really nothing to talk about. When I say nothing, I mean absolutely nothing. But the one thing is this. Um, everybody that Quesse and the front office of the Minnesota Vikings have brought in, I'm believing in it. I don't care. This guy absolutely has he has two years of experience he's played one nfl game and didn't get a tackle didn't get nothing okay there's no evidence of this man even being on the field but according to the stats he's been on the field at least once okay he's played a game that's what they telling us but we have nothing to talk about other than the fact that he's a big dude you hear me the boy 6'4 245 pounds i mean shit that's all we need to know this video is not gonna be long this video is just gonna say hey look I trust the process. Quesse brought him in. I trust him. He must have the right attitude, must have the right character that's going to fit in this locker room. Um, and if, if things go south and we need somebody to plug in there, maybe this guy's a beast. They obviously see something in him. The scouts we have obviously see something in him. So let's do it. Welcome to the purple, Chris Garrett. Welcome to the purple, bro. Listen, you're going to be happy you joined this team, man, because guess what? We are the better team. We are better than the Rams. I'm standing on that, man. I am drunk off this purple Kool-Aid all week. I ain't lying to you. Until somebody sits me back down and brings me back down to reality, I'm riding the train. I don't give a damn. You're going to have to stop me. You feel me? But um, Chris Gale, like I say, no evidence. The one good thing, though, there's another fact about him. Um, I guess he is a Minnesota boy. Went to con, con, whatever the name of the college is in St. Paul. So, hey. Let's let's give it up. Let's give it up for Chris Garrett, man. You know, being a Minnesota guy, too. I guess having some ties to Minnesota. I don't know if he's technically from Minnesota, but he went to college there. So, hey, it all counts. It all counts. Either way, he's tied into the purple. Now he's part of the purple. Let's get it. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. I mean, obviously, I don't know if he's just going to be practice squads or something like that probably but at least we signed somebody man just some exciting news man quick video appreciate y'all tapping in i'll let your boy appreciate everybody for tapping into the purple pocket podcast y'all make sure y'all hit that like subscribe and turn the notification bell on purple gang